So today we're going to be touring the inside of the Greystone Mansion. It's a rare opportunity to see the inside. You can always see the outside and the grounds uh, most every day, which is free and you explore on your own. But the chance to see the inside doesn't happen too often. I wasn't planning to make a video, but after looking on YouTube to see what was available, there wasn't too much. There's a few older videos of the inside, but none of them focus on filming locations. It's all about the history of the building itself, which is pretty interesting. But today I'd like to talk about some of the movies that I like that were filmed here. So we're gonna start right here with Stripes. In Stripes, they have the EM50 RV and they're coming to pick up the girls at the German Resort. They come up this long driveway and turn this corner and they come up to this area up here and park. So the EM50 is parked in this area and the girls come running out of these doors coming in out of these doors they meet the meet up with uh, Harold Ramis and Bill Murray uh, brought the magic suitcase you've been doing your special exercises they pass these two doors and get in the EM50 parked here. So in all the movies, you see the characters coming down these stairs. In Rockstar, they head this way to the hall that has all the memorabilia in it. And then one scene of Big Lebowski, he heads that way. We're gonna explore the rooms with my beautiful wife, who's putting up with me in a minute. In Austin Powers Gold Member, they come down these stairs. When he's doing the flashback of when they're in the academy and they view the list, that's right about here. Who's gonna be the international man of mystery for that year? Okay, so we got, finally got this room to ourselves, nice and quiet. This is the room where he first meets the Big Lebowski. He comes in with Brant through this door, and all the awards are on this wall, including the mold of his foot. Hey, don't, don't, please, don't, don't touch it, don't touch it. Oh, Nancy Reagan, oh, Nancy's great, yeah, that's great. And then the Big Lebowski's desk was right here. And the dude 
was sitting at the desk right there. You don't go out looking for work on a weekday dressed like that, do you? Uh, today's weekday? Uh, I don't know what day it is. This is the door he comes out of. Brent asked how the meeting went. He said, great. The old man said to take any rug in the house. Unfortunately, the pool isn't actually here. It never was. Not the pool from Big Lebowski, at least. There was a pool, but it's been filled in for many years. So it's not the same one. This is definitely the room that they filmed two scenes of Big Lebowski in. The first one being where the Big Lebowski shows the dude the ransom note and asks what it is to be a man. And then later in the movie, where Walter and the dude come back and Walter proceeds to throw the Big Lebowski in his gold brick and ass, as he says, out of his wheelchair. It's filmed right here. Got the fireplace. Probably about this location where the Big Lebowski was in his wheelchair. One of the dead giveaways when you see this house in film is this checkerboard floor. Rockstar, Big Lebowski. You see this floor in all of them. And again, the staircase. And the view of downtown, well, I guess it's Hollywood. I don't know if you can see downtown LA today. So the only history of this house that I'll give you is that this room, the son who the house was built for, was murdered in this room. And I believe it says 1929. Here he is here, looking like Adolf Hitler. But he was murdered in this room. So this is the famous main original driveway for the house that you see everybody driving up in the same movies. Driving up to the house, turning that corner. I'll get down here and get another get another shot of it. This wasn't video I was planning to take, but since I'm down here, so close, walking down to the gate. little gatehouse right there and look back towards the house so this is the view we get of the front gate in movies like Rockstar and Rush Hour it's the gate that Jackie Chan comes to he tries to get in to talk to the Chinese consulate the and there's a tour van Yes, this is the gate that Marky Mark goes in, says Cuddy He, Cuddy, 
on the sign. Same gate that Jackie Chan comes to. Then he just ends up jumping over the wall. Over here somewhere. So one thing I did learn watching the videos on YouTube is that that house there above the parking lot was belonged to Jennifer Aniston. So there you go, she had a view of the parking lot. No. Nope. 